putting all their energies into a pop career, plus the odd shampoo advert. Their new single, Wanna Be Your Lover, is out today. Here's a taste. Wanna be your lover and Gail and Gillian join me now. It looks like it might have been quite embarrassing, Gail, that uh, <laughs> that well, video shoot on a tube certainly train. We couldn't afford to be inhibited. Um, we had about three hours to film it and we had these short liquid silver dresses. Oh, of course the, the, the people sitting on the train were um, extras and uh, they had to sort of get into it, but it was quite fun. Gillian, whose choice was it to do a Prince song? It was our decision with along with the producers. We wanted to do at least one cover for the album. And we said, please, Prince, because we're big fans of his. So we looked through his older music, and this song stood out as being a, a very good song. I'd always want to cover that song. So does the big purple one himself huh? know about it yet? Well, he gave us he permission must do, to do yes. it. Yeah. Has he heard it, do you think? Or? He's getting a courtesy copy as we speak. <laughs> but I'm sure he gets a lot of those. <laughs> now, your big acting break, of course, was in Neighbours, which we all know you from. It, it seems almost a logical step now, though. When you leave an Australian soap, you come over to London and you start a singing career. Was that what it was like for you? Uh, I know it looks that way, uh, but for us, we've done a full circle because we started singing and dancing when we were 10. Then we did uh, reporting when we left school, not unlike yourself, and then acting, and now we've come back to the singing and dancing. So, Do ex-Australian ex soap stars do as well down under as they seem to do here? Uh, the in industry is obviously a lot smaller over there, but they do, definitely, yeah. Was there any moment, has there been a moment since you left Neighbours that you regretted leaving it and regretted losing the security that obviously goes with something like well, that? Well, we signed the contract for the music about eight months before starting on Neighbours, so there wasn't any time to regret because we had to fulfil the music contract. But we're very happy to do to do what we're doing, but yes, the security factor is always a concern. Now Fingers you're, crossed. You're obviously very close. Do you ever get sick of each other working together? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, do, we do have our arguments, but um, we never get to fisticuffs. Have you ever had any of those spooky, psychic experiences that twins are meant to have? We have on two occasions where we've both been well, I was devastated about something and she, she phoned me and she was in the middle of Australia. She phoned me like right at that time I needed to sort of speak to her because obviously she's my best friend and I, I wanted to talk to her. But then silly little things, I was shopping the, the other day. actually. Yes, <laughs> I was shopping the other day and I felt like, you know the feeling you get when you've lost a, a set of keys or a wallet, you just know something's not right. I'm hovering in the supermarket near the laundry section and I thought, oh, I don't know why I'm staying here. So I just grabbed some... Uh, laundry powder. Which she never buys. I never buy. She bought the wrong brand. It didn't matter because when I got home she said, I can't believe you bought it. I was trying to call you on the mobile and it was out of range. To buy it. And so that was a I nearly sent her a signal and she caught it. <laughs> Brilliant. What can I say? Good luck with the single. I hope it goes well. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Alistair.